Aman birader kara gözünü nedir bu işler? This is the 14th century tale of two builders from the Ottoman era that survived to the modern day. According to legend, Karagos and Hajivat spent so much time entertaining their fellow workers with jokes, it stopped them finishing the building of a mosque in Bursa. That angered the Sultan, but he had the last laugh when he ordered their executions. Centuries later, that fable is still entertaining young and old in the form of shadow puppets. Recep Shinasi Çelikol is among Turkey's most celebrated puppeteers. Working from his home on the outskirts of Bursa, he has dedicated his life to keeping this performing art alive. Karagöz shadow play has four essential elements. The introduction, with the dialogues, a pilot, and a conclusion. The end of every play has a lesson for the audience, and this is an important way to pass on knowledge. Besides this, many people earn their living by crafting the puppets and staging performances. It's been a part of our culture since the 14th century. It must live on. Back in the city center, Shinasi makes new puppets using animal hide and natural dyes. Each figurine takes hours of effort and concentration, so Shinasi only produces one or two per day. The higher quality leather puppets fetch as much as $40. But, he says, the cheaper plastic ones are now more popular, selling for no more than $4 each. Whichever puppets they prefer, Shinasi is never too busy to take his customers down memory lane. He crafts and stages Karagöz and Hacivat. He does his job not only for earning money, rather he loves his job. Shinasi's son helps him when he can, but Ur says it's no longer possible to earn enough money in this line of work. So it's really hard to continue your life with this business, but you must love it. You, you must feel yourself as a, as a missioner for this art or for this business so that you can earn a little money and on the other side you can enjoy this. The 70-year-old master puppeteer says he'll keep making puppets and putting on shows as long as he can. But he worries that without young apprentices to carry his craft forward, once he stops, Karagos and Hajiwat may also take their last bows. Mubin Nasir, TRT World, Pursa.